maybe. Yeah, I found any time I like bumped it, it was like.
mine If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in the door for a long time Get a lie and a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rise in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than last This new me, never gonna look back Never gonna look back Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, broomballers around the world. We are here at Penrith somehow at 6.30 in the morning for the hangover session. After a night of heavy drinking by certain people who will remain unnamed, we are back for the third and final day of round robin competition. Two matches remain for each team, and we will start off this morning with a return of the New South Wales men's intermediate New South Wales sliders blue team versus the New South Wales sliders orange team. The sliders blue so far, the only undefeated team in their bracket with three wins and a draw from their four games. But the sliders orange could do their chances of making the finals no harm with a strong showing and a win today, especially after what happened yesterday. We want to see a nice, hard performance from them and get back in the tank once again. Just uh, getting the benches organized to get underway here. Blue going to the right of your screen. I will also say I spoke to Luke Gotchu uh, yesterday and his wrist is taped and he is back in the nets for New South Wales Orange. Here we go, underway. Coucher fell over his legs but not tripped. The referee waves it off. Kilpatrick with the ball behind the net. Helia steals it off him, goes for a flick, deflected out by Gotchu. Kaniha only gets as far as Powell who can reset for blue. He's got Makareth at the top. If he wants him, the forward's running in. Goes for the chaos hit behind the goals to Coucher. Orange fervently trying to sweep that away. That's Dodson. Now to kill Patrick with a bit of time. Coucher making him honest about it. And he will eventually get it to Kaniha. Back to Kilpatrick and they're just trying to clear the defense here. That's Newell, back after a 10 year absence. Powell, into the corner again, Coucha. Running against Hunnius. Behind the goals, coming back the other way, looking to flick it in, but well cut off by Dodson. Cleared back again to Powell at the offensive blue and they will reset again. Makareth. One way then the other. Newell just trying to corral here. Powell. Swing over the top. Doesn't even bother got you to jump. He's, nope, that's way high. I'm not touching that. Makarath again. Kniha. Test taps it into the corner away from him. Makarath. Around the back. Hanius 
leading Kautzer to the ball. Try, yeah, ooh. Nearly, I was gonna say nearly cut off by Macker, but eventually getting it across and clearing the red. And after two minutes of hard defense, the Orange team go for a full reset with a full line change. That's Gray getting it back into the forwards again. Forcing Blue to go very deep with their reset. Round the back, Powell. Kilpatrick taking it back for Orange, but only for a moment. This is Padgett for Orange, but he just cannot get enough control on it. And the blue team still swinging away. Gray only gets it as far as ball. Comes back to hand. Comes back to hand. Goes in looking for number 10. That's Moore. But nothing doing, comes out the other side. Stevens. The blue team with all the work early, but they haven't broken through just yet. Moore again. Stevens, but Padgett takes it away, passes it to Holmes. He's got Gray in support, takes it to him. Gray crosses the red. But it's more of a defensive or relief push. And we will reset with the icing call. Walker and Helia at the reset. Into the middle, very dangerous. Macarith wanted to have a big swing, but cut off. Now it comes in, deflected out, out to the side to Maul. But cut away, Helia tries to flick it in, but Walker's there. Another slap comes out to the side, around the referees. Hudson, Helia, swing. Nearly in, great save by Gotu to deflect that one out. Hudson in the corner again, trying to reset. He's got Mackworth up the boards if he wants him. Lots of movement, very good signs from Blue here. Hell yeah. Just passes it off and Dodson can't get it up to Kanihara and Hudson will take it back. He's got a big shot on if he can get it away. Here it comes in. Walker just kicked it out. And now they're off. Makarov does keep it in the offensive. Another big swing. Round the back. Gotchu went down to collect it, but he decides Walker can take that. And deflect it out. And now they're off. Kneha with Powell. O'Reilly comes out and just swaps it away to the boards, but it's only gone as far as Dobson. It will take a swing at goal, deflected out by Powell. O'Reilly way out of position after that foray up the boards. And the Blues take a breath and try and get their composure back. There's Ed Powell, sorry, that is Boar that did that work in defense. Coucher going for a run. Trying to get around Robinson in the defense. Does get it down there all the way, but he's now got to contend with Walker. Gets it over to Helia. Tried something there, I'm not entirely sure. Kilpatrick only gets it as far as Helia, who misses it. Kineha takes it over the red. We'll reset again. It's much better in the first five minutes from the Orange team. The Blues still having a lot of attack. In, but Gotshu just on his knees, easily deflects that out. Walker will take it into the corner. Trying to run around hand, doesn't get through. Hand, he's got Coucher just hanging around the circle, smelling the goal. But all hand can do to get it out. Coucher runs out, just taps it to Hudson and then walks his way back in. Over to Stevens. There are three defenders between him and the goal. No one shading the shooter. Now Robinson shading ball. Still has the shot. Dodson deflects it off. 
Robinson and Walker. Comes all the way down. O'Reilly's going to come out here because the Orange player really made a go of that just to keep it going. It's good work by O'Reilly. He did make the right call coming out to stop that. You do not want to get a fast break one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. But now what can the Orangeman do here? It's Stevens. Up to number 10. That's Moore. Trying to get it past Paget. Can't do it. Still tackling on the board. Still Moore and Paget. And it's still going to come out to the orange advantage. But now Powell's back. Over the hand. Stevens. Flicks it up. Trying to get it over. The refs say no. It's still in the offensive. Neha. Stevens for blue, still trying to get it past. Kniha, some nice efforts here. Breaking through, but Hudson sweeps on it, takes it over to the boards. Senior composure man from the team. Now a nice tap forward. Paget trying to cut it off, does successfully. Great running to cut off hand there. And then another tap, brilliant work, up to Kniha. He's got runners in support. He goes back to Paget. He's got another one if he can use him. If he can get it to 68, but Paget, oh. Now 47. Swings. Down to the backboards. 68 has got it. That's Holmes. He's taking his time, catching his breath. Up to Robinson. We know he's got a big hit. Gets it in. Makaris coming back the other way. Newell trying to shadow him. But Makaris has the speed. Robinson coming across to assist and take out Moore, who's run into the crease. And once again, the orange team pushing back. Holmes getting it across the red. And then an offside call for a reset. Sorry, lost ball for a reset. From the restart, ball oh, goes for the big swing, but way wide. Got you. Taps it into the corner away from Coucher. Like a small forward, just hunting around, saying, I need that goal. Walker running up the middle. Dangerous ball, but Newell gets it away. Back to Walker. Back to Dodson. And Walker again. Great one-two work from Walker, running all the way up. A correction from my winning team, Walker is McCook wearing the wrong jersey, wearing his girlfriend's jersey, just to make my life interesting. So with apologies to Chloe watching at home, going into him. And great work by O'Reilly to really slap that hard, making the Orange team reset hard. McCook clearly, I think he said last night he was on his way to Panthers at 11 p.m. And so I'm going to say that's the reason that he's wearing his girlfriend's jersey. He saw something orange and put it on this morning. Dangerous play at the best of times. Paget. Riding up the boards again. Kicks it across. But the Blues will recover. Flicked forward, trying to get some run on. Nothing doing, and so they will come back and try again with Helia on the right side. <laughs> Flick down, only as far as Honeyus, who slots it back. And 
Referee Pete Cook says, let's go down and restart for an icing call. Referee Pete Cook not allowed to play in this competition. Uh, he would like to, but I believe someone suggested that it wasn't good for him. Kaniha. Going, coming up the middle. Hanius has a shot. O'Reilly swats it away with his left. With a free glove hand. Hanius going again. Goes back up the top to Robinson. We know he's got the big hit. He's got Newell in support on the left if he uses him, but he goes back to the right. Hanius, another shot. Another block, this time with the blocker from O'Reilly. And how can the Orange team take best advantage here? Blues recover behind the net. Where's the forecheck going to try and stop them getting out? Stevens across the line. Very useful work. Now it's a fast run from Moore. Swing it in. Robinson stops the cutoff pass to hand. And then puts it off to the boards to Kaniha, who gets it up. Great pass again. O'Reilly comes out, saves it out. Some fantastic running work from O'Reilly. Kick forward, hard forward. Hudson couldn't get there, now gets it on the rebound. But I can only get it as far as Newell, who flicks it back to the boards. Hudson and Kaniha. More now. Swings, glove saved by Gotchu, and then he will just lock it up, freeze it, and we will start again. A good test out there for Gotchu's wrist, showing no ill effects from yesterday's play. Just waiting on the restart, a bit of plastic on the ice. Referee Hukins is on the case from the restart. Out wide, how? Cuts across, Paget moving across the cut of Hudson. Shot comes in, was nearly in to Coucher and just tipped away by McCook. And now Paget with a nice hard swing. Defense first, and we will go again. 2.22 on the clock in the first half. <laughs> Apologies for not getting the scoreboard up, viewers. But as you can see, 2.22 remaining in the half, nil all still. Kilpatrick and Paget. Paget takes the ball, tries to go around the back, was looking for Dodson, but it ends up with hand to ball. On a play, on a Out the top. Hudson, big swing, blocked away by McCook. Now Dodson can hurt them on the rebound. Holmes, uh, sorry, Hudson just pushes him out of the way to take control of the ball. Using the weight advantage, now to hand, back into offense. Trying to get it around McCook, eventually does. Some hard running from both these boys. On the wall, McCook trying to lock him in, but he passes it up, he's got Hudson. We've got Stevens and we've got Fuller in the circle looking for the ball, but the Orange team with very good defense, it must be said. Holding them out thus far. One more reset, 121 on the clock.
Restart him again. Into the corner, Kaniha. Trying to get up the wall. Back to Kaniha. Bit of a scramble. Eventually pushed across to the far side by Hanius. Now back in. Moore. Moore. Coucher. Three deep in the crease, trying to find it. Nearly to him. The hands come in. It's now behind the goal. Coucher gets it out. A reset to Hellier. He's in the circle. It is shot length, but he's got to get it past Robinson. If he goes, Robinson deflects it. Goes behind the goal again. Moore. Swept out by Hanius. Still with Moore, though. I think that's Kaniha. Powell gets it out, though. Helia, another big swing. Out forward, Moore. They're very, very close here. Newell and Gotchu combine, and Gotchu locks it up. 18 seconds on the clock. The first game on this Saturday morning, local time 6.49 a.m. And it really is fantastic work from this Orange team. Reece Shepard coaching them has clearly instilled some nice defensive efforts. Moore trying to get one late. Can't get it past Dodgett. Paget, sorry. Paget, now that's clearly a trip, sir. But the referee says nothing doing. And the blue team tries one more time. And they will run out of time just in the nick. But Gotchu was still there to hold off one more attack. And at the half, the Orange team, they can definitely hold their head high with that. A fantastic effort thus far. And it's nil all. Halfway through. Back in action for the second half. Orange, a nice foray into attack. Pushed out. O'Reilly sweeps up the middle, but only as far as Kilpatrick. Paget Goes for the shot. O'Reilly didn't need to save it. It does push it out to the side. Gray working deep, looking for that deflect goal. Dodson, Paget. Trying to get it back to Dodson. Can't get it past Powell. And now Macrest behind the goals. Takes his breath and runs straight up the middle. He's got a runner on the left. It's number 27. That's Ruffy. Has a big swing, but nothing doing. The Orange team well up to the defensive challenge. Gray now. 
Great ball across the line. This is Hunius. Into the middle, just can't control it, Padgett. He was on there. Gray led to the ball. Now Roffy behind the goals. He's got power and support on his right. He's got Hellier on his left. And he's got Moore and Hudson as the forwards further upfield. Powell, over to Hellier. Flicks it up. Lovely movement by Roffy. Keeping running, keeping running. Keeps you warm on the ice as well. A little bit of ping pong. But eventually Kilpatrick will get it. Pass it to Kaniha, who will eventually get it over the half. Helia made a meal of tackling that one. Comes all the way down. Hudson being chased by Niha. Flicks it around the back. He's got more there. Running into the corner, knowing exactly where the ball was going. Some good setup. Now runs past Holmes. He's got Newell in front of him. He flicks it to Hudson. Only going as far. Now back again. Hudson again. Big swing to Powell, but to flend it out. Bohr. Across to Stevens. Looking at a three and a half, four forward, set, four defender set up, one forward wrestling in the middle there. Trying to create an overlap man. Comes around the back. Shoots another save by Gotchu. Trying to get it past Bohr, commanding his team and his defensive efforts. Kaniha. Dodson. More swings, just trying to clear it now. It's getting a little bit chaotic for Orange. Maybe feeling the pressure. Makaris into the corner. Hand. Can't control it. Taken away by McCook. Swings a great one up the boards. Fantastic work to clear the defense. Ball will track it down. There's no icing on the call. He's got Makarath, and I think he's going to go there. He's also got Fuller. Makarath ignores Fuller, goes up the middle himself. Tries to flick it down to Helia. He's got Robinson he's trying to get through. Robinson just corrals him back to the boards. Helia. Sadler coming on. Nice flick over, but only to Gray. Gray gets it past Sadler all the way down. Gray, work. Kniha's come out. So is O'Reilly. And O'Reilly kicks it away, and Sadler will try again. Gets it past Gray. Now gets it past, I think that was uh, Hunius. Has a shot, Sadler. And they're right at the danger zone. Another big swing, defended out by Paget. Bounced off his foot, I think. A little bit of swinging for the trees from the blue team at the moment. Down on the backboards, Robinson. Around the side, looking for a second man. Great hip and shoulder work. Paget going for a run, trying to get it past Sadler again. Doesn't do it. Sadler's got some great defensive. Now it comes back to the middle. Blue just looking for a reset, trying to get it to Moore. Does get it there. He's just got to get through Robinson. He's got Paget now in help in defense. The shot comes in, it's back to Moore. Bounces round the back. Paget takes it and doesn't try to run, just swings it out. Now we've got Powell. Shoots again, Robinson deflects it down to the back. Paget trying to run past Moore. Eventually just hits it past Moore. And now it's past Hudson, but not past Powell. 
and they will go again. Robinson, he's got Kanihara out the left if he can get it to him. He instead opts to go in front of goals. Gets it around the back. Dangerous play by these Orangemen. The pressure really getting to them here. 8.58 remaining. Hudson for the Blues. Went back to Bohr, but missed it. A little bit of reprieve. Bohr trying to run, but he's being chased down expertly by number 68, Holmes, who gets it back into the middle. Hudson, and that poor pass, and now the Blues have to scramble. McCook. Down behind the goals. O'Reilly trying to affect the ball. Holmes. Into the middle, but there's no forwards there. And so Hand will take it out for the blue team once more. Tries to kick it past. But nothing happening. Running around the back. Hudson. Using Hand again. Aleps to go for the stick. Hudson, great movement to get it up to Roffey. Mule chasing him down, and Mule will get there first. We'll swing it past Roffey, and it will go once again. McCook, now McCook's open here. He can run all the way in. O'Reilly's gonna have to do some work, and it does fantastically. McCook runs into the post, knocking it out, and we will reset due to the goals being offline as McCook, the Orange team, as they put the goals out, the restart will be to the blue team's advantage. Fantastic work. A very aggressive run by McCook. Clearly showing no signs of illness, no signs of hangover, and no signs of what 2AM jugs at Panthers do. From the restart. Macaris waiting for his team to get onside. Now he's good to go. Flicks it into the corner for Helia. Newell chasing him. Newell beats it down, in fact. Comes back up to the top. Macaris again. Passing back to Powell. Powell running around Gray. Off to the side to Moore. Working it in. Ref says the stick height was okay. Back to Powell. Back him up. Runs around the back. A little trip up that happened on the goals there. And we'll see who the referee judges knocked the goal out. And it looks like it was McCook. Now for the Orange team that just, just tripped over the goals on his way past. And so we'll reset once again. 6.41 on the clock. As we said at the start of the broadcast, the blue team, Sliders Blue, undefeated thus far and looking to hold on to that undefeated record for the competition. And the Orange, having won one, and would love to get a second. Ruffy. Flicks it back to Sadler. Back down to Ball. Good movement again, but they have slowed down a bit. Ball with a big shot, just goes across the face. Ruffy. Back in. I think that's Stevens down there. Shoots, nearly got it in off the deflection. But the ball just wasn't cooperating and now the Orangemen can charge down the line. Shot coming in, nearly worked off to Nick Katoot. Kaniha, O'Reilly saves it and then swats it back out. Stevens looking to hurt on the rebound. He's got Moore trying to get past Robinson in defense. Swings it in, Stevens great deflect, 
Got you when to catch it, but at least kept it out of the goals. That's the first thing. Steven still with the ball. The defenders come to his goalkeeper's aid. And now Gray with the ball on the boards. Trying to get it past Hudson. Hudson comes away with it, goes out to the side. A huge swing at behind the goals. Back to Stevens. Another big swing. Got you on his knees. Saves it out. Behind the boards again. That's Kilpatrick down there. Out to hand for the blue team. Kenny Half in the orange. And now Gray in orange as well. Off the boards to Kaneha. Trying to get it past Hudson. Just runs into Hudson. There's a lot to run into. To Gray. Nearly up, but hand is there. Down behind the goals. Now more for Blue. He's got Stevens just hovering around the goals. Macris will take the ball. And Moore will join him in the goal. So we've got Hand and you've got Powell as well. Comes out to Powell. Looking for the hard reset. Looking for a way to crack this orange defense. And has stood up very admirably today. Hand to Moore. Swept in, Robinson now. Trying to clear it, and they do clear it. And it was Padgett there. They managed to get it out of the defense, and the Blues will have to reset on their own defense. Macaris gets it past one. Moves the shot in. Can't get anything happening there, and the ball will be lost near the interchange gates. And we'll reset once more. Reset once again. Past Hudson, back into defense. Ball running down, passes it back to O'Reilly. Out to the other side. This is Fuller. There's some pressure coming in though, and the orange man will converge. He's got a runner in support. Out the side, into the middle, and just cross the face, trying to get it back to McCook. McCook can't get, get past Hudson. Now Hudson goes for a run. He has got some toe to Coucher, but kicked away by Newell, only as far as Fuller, who takes a huge shot, and there it goes. Sustained pressure, sustained attacking. And Fuller gets it in on the left post. Some lovely work there, lovely assist by Coucher. And got you had the line covered, maybe could have come out just a little bit more. But Fuller had a nice clean shot. And the referees are happy, no assist. So 1-0 with three to play. Can the Orangemen get one back? The referee has seen a not entirely sure what he saw there, but we're just going to restart with the blue advantage spot. Pukin's clearly not happy, he said something to the players, but no one sent. Stevens flicks over Roffey. Trying to get back in front of the goals, but nothing happening. Someone's stick goes down. Sadler. Stevens. Back to Powell. Uses the right wall now, to get, trying to get it to Roffey. But Padgett will beat him to it behind the goals. Two on one, and they just push him out of the way. And now the shot just wide. They'll reset again. This is Hunnius. Trying to get it around the back. 
Eventually gets it to Kniha, who goes up the boards. Great work getting it past uh, Powell, that was. And Powell will have to run back to the ball. Now going up. Hand. Tries for the flick. Doesn't get it working. Great defense from Paget. Now Powell comes in and just swats it behind the goals. Got you covering the line. Kilpatrick's down there to come and get it. Passes and up the boards, trying to get it to Kaniha, but only as far as Powell, who comes back again. Another shot, another save, this time by Paget. Roffy now, front of goals, big swing, but a mess of bodies just to flex it out to the right. Hudson. Kaniha trying to push him off the ball, but to no avail. Hudson back to Bohr. Bohr, back to Hudson. Back to ball. One minute to go. Looking for an, an elusive second goal. Another swing up. Trying to get into catcher, but Kaniha just crosses it over. It won't cross the red. Stevens called for it. Can't get it. And now they're back in defense. 30 seconds to play. Waiting for the offsiders to come. And now Makarath can go away. Tries to get it past, can't get it past, Tonius, who's still going, checked into the wall, lost his stick. But the Blues recover. Moore. He's being called to go for a run. I think Boar's just happy to take the one win. Into the corner with Helia. And that is all she wrote for this one, guys. You would think, you would think a fair result, 1-0 to the Blues. They did do a lot of the attacking, but the Orange team, I think they can hold their high, head very high for that one. They held them out for most of the game, for 27 minutes. And the one that they got in was a great swing by Fuller. And the Orangemen did have some great work themselves. You can see here the run by McCook. They really made O'Reilly work in the goals as well. And on a different day, you would see a different result to that game. So we are just waiting to get underway for our second match today. Another New South Wales grudge match. A return of the women's intermediate. This is blue versus orange. 
And as we see here, the current standings going into day three. Each team will play two more matches. And you can see the sliders blue and at the top of the table there, two wins, one draw, one loss. Two points for a win. So realistically, either team could still make the final, as could the Sharks. It is a very open competition, this one. Uh, but of course, the Orange team would like to get a win against their friendly neighbours. Coach is giving some last minute instructions. Uh, Saxon Hooper for the blue team and uh, Josh Burton standing in for Tim Brown, who we hope is doing well at home recovering from his illness. So Josh Burton leading the charges, telling his orange ladies what he wants from them and Hooper no doubt doing the same for the blues. From, the, from the start here, we've got the orange team running to your left of screen. And we've got Jody Harrison keeping for the Blues and Anka De Bruyne keeping for the orange team. Of course, both those ladies playing in the elites as well. Back into defense, De Bruyne electing to just leave it for Kilpatrick. This is D Kilpatrick. Adrian playing in the previous match. Leaming back to Kilpatrick. She's got Powell on the wing if she can get it to her. She does. But Lagum says no thank you and it comes back down the line. This is Seddon. A runner in the middle in Moore. More to set in, nearly in, swept out, and oh, it's just wide. The shot from Siswandi deflected off Leeming. Leeming goes behind it, clears it out to Wall. Wall running up the line now. And they will clear it over the top. Tilly and number 55, McElhenry, making chase. McElhenry gets to the ball first, comes it back to 87 for New South Wales Orange. That's Shepherd. Shepard, Clark coming down to support on the board. She gets it now. Back down to Shepard. Still wrestling down there, but Shepard with the ball, holding on. Now behind, Tilly with the tackle, comes away with the ball. And the Blues can hopefully, for their sake, get the ball out here. Moving up to Moore. Moore gets it across the halfway line. But the defenders come across and the orange team will reset through Brian, their captain. Brian cross the red to help her interchange out and also to flick it down without icing. Hudson behind the goals goes across the far side to De Bruyne. That's Sean. Sean back to Tilly. Tilly, back to De Bruyne. Into the middle. I think that's Harrison. That's Ashley Harrison. Yes, yes, 
Yes. Ashley Harrison still with the ball, trying to get it past Clark. No movement. Eventually gets it to De Bruyne. De Bruyne gets it into the forwards. Lee, uh, sorry, Brian chasing after it. Rigby chasing her to give pressure. And Brian just taps it into the corner. The defensive play. And she's got Dunn. Except it can only get as far as De Bruyne. So De Bruyne and Dunn. De Bruyne comes away with it. Looks for the shot. Gets it into the middle. Harrison is there. She's just trying to get around Powell, who's corralling her in defense. Powell will affect it. Will come to Barrett. Barrett gets it across to number 78. That's McAuliffe. Trying to get it across the red. Langham says, please don't. Back to Harrison. Powell gets it. Now they do cross the red. And Harrison doing a lot of early running for the blue team. Takes the ball. It's three on one here, but she managed to just flick it over the top. After all that running, I thought she was going to go to the gate. She is. But that gives Powell an open lane down the right wall. Takes it into the middle, but Hudson is there. Cool, calm, and collected in defense. Over to Langham. Up the wall, Siswandi. Can't get the control, so the Orange team will take it back. This is Langham running down with McElhenry again. Michael Henry takes the ball. They've now got it behind the goals. And they nearly got it away to Wall there. Powell collects it. Brings it back in. They're going to go once more with a big swing. But Langham got him away. Set in to Moore. And Moore just flicks it on. Goes for a run. Seeing how tired these legs are the morning after. The hangover session. Moore. Further into the corner. Says we haven't run nearly enough. Seddon. Trying to get it to Moore, but tapped away by Powell. So only as far as Saswani. She's in a good spot in front of goal, just in front of the blue. To Seddon. To Moore again, back to the corner. They're just being corralled out. This is Wall on Moore. Moore trying to think her way through this one. Then tries to run past Wall. Doesn't quite have the leg speed. Now swings, but Powell takes it out. And then to Wall, a little scramble. Moore goes down. There is a hand in the air for an infraction. Seddon. But then the hands have gone down from the referee, so he's decided not to call. And it's play on. Moore in the corner. Wall and Powell versus Moore and Seddon. This is Seddon, back to Moore. Now trying to just create a little run. It goes to the far side. Siswandi, trying to get it past McElnery. Into the middle. Slapped away by Powell. This is Tilly now. Working against Reed. Back to Seddon. Seddon. Shot on, but the defense is up to it, and they will clear it out through Reed again. Run across. Langham comes across to cut it off. Can only go as far as Reed. Tilly. Back into the corner again. Making the orange team work hard in defense. Seddon and Powell. Seddon wins it at first, but Powell's got it back again. Goes over the top. Only as far as Tilly. Takes it back to Seddon. <laughs> Trying to get it to Rigby in the middle on, McH on McHenry. Rigby's got a very big shot if she can get it away. McHenry, Jess Corellina, trying to make sure she gets her stick in the way. And Rigby, unfortunately, misses the ball. McHenry swats it away. And they've crossed the red and out of defense into attack. Langham pushing the ball into the corner, trying to keep it away from number 76, Connolly. And she does so. She's got Tilly in support on the other side. Going up the line, into the middle, De Bruyne. Back to Harrison, great work. Ash Harrison can go for a bit of a run here. She's got De Bruyne in the middle, being marked by Clark. She takes the shot, comes off Kilpatrick. Clark gets to it first in the recovery. 
can't. Oh, I was going to say she got a pass. Didn't quite get a pass, Rigby. It's gone back to Harrison. It's now a Jess Kilpatrick between the goal. Now it's to Bruna. And then nearly across. But Anka de Bruna in goals. I think she had it covered, but the shot was just wide. Just to the right. Back to Harrison. Down the corner into Rigby. Dunn and Rigby. Dunn will get away with it. Trying to get up the wall through Harrison to Reed. Now De Bruna, another chance for the Blues. She's got a clear shot. Rigby comes into the crease to try and shield the keeper. Dunn gets in the way of the shot, then comes away. Hudson there as well. And number 34 for Orange, Leeming, just swats the ball way down the line, and we'll get an icing call, and we'll take a breath with 6.20 to go in the first half. From the resale again, Michael Henry trying to get it away past Hudson. The supporters come in. Langham trying to keep it in the attack. It comes away, still in the forward half. Setting it, bringing it back down into her, her favorite corner. Moore is there if she wants her. Wall trying to stop the pass on. Gets to Moore. Getting it past Brian. And into the other side. So it's the Swandy again. With McHenry marking her. Gets it into the middle, but Hudson just stepped the, wrong, the opposite way. I would only say the wrong way because the pass missed. Push it, push it, push it. Oh, but it was on there. Rangers now into attack. 78. All she has to do is get it past Hudson. Runs to the circle. Has a shot, but just comes off the backboards. 78, that's McAuliffe for New South Wales Orange. De Bruyne bringing it back for Blues. Get it to the round Powell. But McKenzie's there as well. Now De Bruyne has done great work there to get it past. Now the ball is going to run all the way down. It is not an icing call. And Wall just took, Wall took a look at Peacock and said, come on, please, sir. Before passing it off to Powell. Powell. Gets it across the red. And they'll go once again. This is Connolly for the Orange team. Tries to get it past Tilly. Tilly deflects it onto the backboards. We'll get to the ball first and we'll run it behind the goals. Dunn trying to cut her off. Dunn does cut it off. But Tilly's second effort gets it out. Only as far as Reed. Into the middle. Seddon is there for the Blues. Over to De Bruyne. Tapping it up the middle. But only as far as Kilpatrick. Kilpatrick taps it only back as far as Seddon. Seddon into the corner. Moore is up at the top of the goal's crease. Gets it. Oh, nearly got it to Rigby. Just a little bit of heat on it. It comes across to Connolly. Connolly being marked by Langham. Gets it through Langham, through Rigby. And Jody Harrison will come out of the crease to set up the next play. Goes to the right wall. Langham's there. Langham can't get it past the red. And instead it will go back into the offensive corner for Orange. Moore will get there first. Comes across the other side. Tilly. Moving up the wall. A nice ball to Siswandi. Going to Rigby. There's a stick check. The ball goes through everyone's legs. Rigby's there. Stick checks Powell. Powell will still get there back first. Sorry, that's a leaning. No, my apologies. It is Powell. And Powell will go up the wall to Dunn. Dunn can't get it past Tilly though. Some great defensive work from all players here. And now the Oranges are away. Through 87 and 78. McAuliffe with the ball. Going behind the goal. Hudson is there. Back out the side. This is Harrison. This is Ash Harrison. Back to Hudson. Oh, 
Hudson choosing to go up the middle. Leaf Borchek not protecting, but unfortunately for her, she's just passed it straight to New South Wales Orange. Manages to get the defensive work in to get it into the corner, but it is still an interesting position here for the Blues. Before it eventually comes out. Now the pass was on, it didn't quite connect, so now Siswami and Clark in a foot race. Clark wins the race, taps it away to the side. Ash Harrison will get there along with Brian and Brian will win that race. So the orange team showing a bit of toe here. Comes back around, so it was leaning, not Brian, it was leaning there. Now it comes back to Clark. No, it was Brian. This is what happens when it's too early in the morning and I've only had one shot of coffee. I will go see real soon, I'm sure. So apologies, listeners. Swatted out again by the Orange defense, trying to uh, turn it into a counter attack. Sean de Bruin says, no thank you. Passes it into the corner and another pink helmet in Clark. Trying to get it past Moore. Moore being very aggressive. Clark goes down. No way from the referees, so it's all going on. This is De Bruyne. De Bruyne swings it in the middle. It's a flick shot. Arke de Bruyne. It's gone across the crease. It's literally rolled across the crease. Only about 10 centimeters in front of the goal, and just no sticks could get on it to push it in. McHenry for Orange. Gets it across the red and says, can we not let it be that close again, guys? Taps it into the far left corner. There's 47 to play in the first half. Mulcanley will chase after the ball till he's with her. <laughs> it'll come out again. And now it's the Blues chance to defend and the Orange chance to try and get a late one. To Bruna. Big swing to get it across the far side. Kirkpatrick. And Seddon, Seddon trying to kick the ball past her, eventually wins the ball, 20 seconds to go. Saswandi streaming into the crease, trying to get it. But De, uh, Anka De Bruyne comes out of her crease and swats the ball away from Seddon. Great defensive work to break up that attack. Seddon with the ball again, but I think time will beat them now. Kilpatrick gets it up the middle, three seconds to go. There is a shot on if Connolly can get it off, but the timer will beat her. <laughs> And it will not count. I don't know if she legitimately got that one past Jody Harrison in goals, or if Jody heard the buzzer and said, ah, it's okay. There were screams of delight from uh, the orange bench. But the buzzer most definitely beat that shot. What an end to the first half.
Okay, here we go for the second half, guys. We're back live. I will say that during the break, I managed to just catch Jody Harrison and ask her about that last shot. And like all keepers, she is probably lying, but she says that she did hear the bell and decided not to contest the shot. Orange in defense now. This is Powell trying to get it around more. More taps it behind the goals. Anka de Bruin comes out. Leaves it for her friend and comrade. And it comes out to Sarah Powell. Running up the lines. But again, the Blues move it back. A great pass by Tilly to Sean de Bruin. Shot on goal. Can't get past Anka de Bruin. Out to the side and we try again. Pass into the middle but cut off. And now Dunn runs away with it. Down to the right wall. There's two of them there trying to raffle it. A little bit of confusion as to who should be taking the ball. They eventually figure it out. Okay, one second. Hudson kicks it into the corner. Then dives upon it to try and stop. But eventually Shepard will take the ball. Move it into the middle, only as far as Seddon. Seddon gets it past Clark down the wall, and now it's a foot race on. Seddon wins that race. Kilpatrick streams back in defense, covering uh, the forward, but no forward yet due to the interchanges. And it's back on the walls again. Langham went for the hard swing. Only could get as far as Reed. Now done. Hudson moves towards to cut off Dunn's run. Reed coming in to assist at the goal face. Dunn trying to get around Hudson. Hudson just taps it away, so Dunn has to work a little bit harder. To Langham. Langham kicks it back into the corner. Dunn will try again. Now Barrett joins Reed in the crease. Back to Clark. The Blues make a contest of it. And Seddon flicks it over the half. Clark to chase it down. Clark behind the goals. Everyone taking just a breath as we go to the last 12 minutes of this match. Barrett. Use it, tried to use the wall to get past Langham. Langham says, nope. And it comes back again. Another chance. Back to Barrett. This time just into Langham's feet. That's, I think that's Harrison down there to Seddon. Seddon trying to get past Clark. Nothing happening there. The defensive pass comes back to Tilly. And now it's on. But Jody Harrison comes out and just sweeps it onto the left wall, trying to get it to Siswandi, but it bounces out McHenry. And then Seddon and Siswandi raffle it. Seddon gets it eventually, crosses the red, and the orange forwards will have to run back and go once more with feeling. It's Ash Harrison, back to Tilly. She's got Langham on her right, but she flicks it over. A nice flick pass, but only as far as Leeming who cuts it off and then tries to go down the right side with a nice pass to Brian. Back again. Now Siswandi, keeping it away, Seddon. Now Seddon again. She's running down the wall. She may have the leg speed. Gets the flick in. De Bruin pads it away. And Ash Harrison nearly there to get the deflect. But it just came the wrong way. Now it is kicked way forward. And referee Cook will call IC in and we will restart once more.
from the drop. Tilly tried to pass it back to Hudson, but it was cut off. It kicked forward, and now a big run on. Cross it into the middle. Hudson cuts it off. Lovely run from McAuliffe there. Comes back to Shepard. Shepard still looking for that goal. Tilly trying to tackle her. De Bruyne comes in to assist. Now it's a two on two. The Oranges win at first. But eventually Rigby gets it and then passes it past Powell. Another foot race on. Powell wins that race. Goes back into the middle trying to find a friend, but all she can find is more. More to De Bruyne. De Bruyne shoots. Trying to get some more, flicks it past. Great deflect from Moore on the crease. And Anka De Bruyne in goals, dive to her right. And Moore used that to her advantage to just flick it around her. Some lovely work here from the two ladies on the offense. You see there, Anka made the move and then didn't make the second move in time. Lovely goal for the Blues. What can the Orange team do in return? Ball comes all the way down. Brian. Looking to marshal her troops and restart. Passes it back behind the goals to Clark. Back to Brian. Flick over the head to Reed. Reed trying to get around Langham. Did get it around, but Langham did get some stick on it. Comes back to Reed. Moving again, but Hudson is there. To flick it over the top. There is an offside there, so Suspendi can't touch it. Has to return to the red before running after it. So Clark will get there first for the Oranges. Trying to get past Suspendi. Does. Ash Harrison there. Making sure that every possession is earned by this Orange team. Now Langham. Another flick pass. Clark runs back for it. It'll be interesting to see if the Blues are happy to just defend this lead. The Orange team has made some forward forays. And I'm sure the Blues would not want to give up what they worked so hard to get in the first part of this match. 7.52 to, to play in this one. Swung in. Moore looking for a second, but to Bruin in goals. Swallows it up for a freeze and a restart on the right circle. Here we go again. Into the middle. Sister Bruna, Sean. Thinking about it, she's got her forwards lined up, but they can't get the shot away, and the Oranges get it into defense. Langham leading it back. There is a chase being put on there by Connolly. Langham eventually swings it up to De Bruyne. Hayes a wild swing at it, misses it. Just comes back to Langham. Back to De Bruyne. Connolly drops a stick, picks up. Nothing bad there. Saswandi tries to trap it, can't trap it. And it comes out again. Tilly chasing with, I think it's Shepard there. Gets it only as far as the middle. To McHenry. To McAuliffe. Connolly at the goals, but it went to De Bruyne instead. And De Bruyne will clear it out for the Blues once more. Only <laughs> as far as uh, Wall, who just kicks it back in. Tilly again. Against Dunn. Dunn with the tackle. Forces it into the corner. Now takes possession. Tilly trying to block her off, but Dunn going for the run. 
gets it around the back of goals. Saswandi there to assist Tilly now, and Saswandi will take it away. Kilpatrick to assist Dunn, and now Kilpatrick's got it. Saswandi gets in the way. The cross pass, Moore will take it, uses her body to try and get around Powell, eventually gets it to Seddon. And some runners are on here, Moore. Kilpatrick corralling her into the corner. Moore to Rigby. Shot. Anka to Boone eventually made the save, but it's still a live ball. A couple of bouncing balls there for Rigby, nearly getting past to Bluna before eventually being cleared away by the Oranges. Reed now. Got a runner in the middle. I think it's Powell. No, sorry, it's uh, Shepard. Hudson trying to clear that defense. There's a couple of them there. Reed's still there. Tilly's joining her. Moore was there as well. Comes out the far side. Brian shot in. This is Shepard trying to swing. And Jody Harrison comes out of the crease and sits on the ball for a restart. Some great offensive work there by the Oranges, but the Blues were more than up to the challenge at this time. We'll restart once again. At the drop, we have Tegan McHenry and Ash Harrison. Ash Harrison in the 99. The reason that I don't get to wear the 99 jersey, she got it first. Harrison, De Bruyne. Wall, Clark. In, very, very close, a big swing by Leeming, just didn't connect enough on it. Jody Harrison was there to cover the goals, but anything would have happened. And with 4.32 on the clock, a freezing, sorry, icing, and Pete Cook will restart it once again on the left forward circle for New South Wales Orange. On the drop, Dunn, Harrison, Dunn. Out the back, Brian. Big swing again, another deflect, and Harrison again. Great work between the sticks. There was a small deflection off Hudson there just to take the heat off it, and then Jody Harrison jumped on it and said no more. Ash Harrison passing it back. She's got Langham in support, uses her. Langham, around the wall, set in to Ash Harrison, passes it up the top. Brian went for Connolly. Connolly unfortunately fell over. Rigby kicks it away, then looks back at Connolly, makes sure she's okay. It's good friendly play here. Ash Harrison taking the ball all the way down the goals. De Bruin comes way out of the crease to play the ball on the boards behind the goal. An experienced campaigner, both our keepers said before playing elite women's and so backing their skills to help out at the intermediate level in sticks. Harrison with a shot on to Bruna, stops it and then just pops it into the corner. No forward pressure, meaning she can't freeze the ball. Ash Harrison passes it behind the goals to Seddon, Seddon to Tilly. Tilly coming across to the cir circle for a shot, shoots, shoots wide. Powell leads the race to the ball, but Harrison then comes on top of it. Seddon now, another shot. De Bruyne there to just pat it behind the goals. Tilly again, three minutes on the clock. Stopped by Brian, Tilly again. Making some movement with Harrison, trying to uh, get the defenders to run after them, create a hole. Harrison with the swing, and knocked out by Powell. On the rebound, Reed. <laughs> Nothing doing. Swept across by Langham, Tilly there, covering a lot of ground. Two on one, and Tilly holds up the play at least, but Dunn eventually comes away with it. 
Tilly running her into the corner, but Dunn's going to try and run around behind the goals. No, passes it in front of the goal. And Moore taps it out. Rigby and De Bruyne. Now they've pulled their keeper, the Orange team. De Bruyne has just chipped it towards the goals, and it's going to run, and it's going to run, and it's just wide. De Bruyne, another shot. There's two minutes left on the clock. It was early to pull. But Burton pulled the keeper for the intermediates. Now Powell is trying to stop them. No player is allowed in the crease before the ball. So all the defenders can do is just hover around the outside of the blue circle. And the Orange team will desperately try and get that ball into attack. Now they do. It's six on five. The Blues just need to defend for 135 and they will walk away with the win. Pass back. It nearly went to Barrett. In front of the goals. Barrett now. McAuliffe, big swing. Hudson stops it out. Wall, back to Clark. A mess of bodies in front of Harrison for the goals. Jody Harrison trying to keep her eyes on everything. Reed and Shepard trying to shield her. And Tilly Hudson Saswandi trying to keep those forwards out. Shot in, comes out. Moore slaps it, not a targeted shot, just getting it across the red. McElhenry will set it up again for the Orange team with 45 to play. Barrett, got a run on it to her here. Hudson comes out to greet her, beats her to us. But Barrett takes the ball, passes it into the middle, Moore's there. Moore just slaps it up, Clark keeps it into the forward half, but to Burner, takes it across the red. Now she could possibly score a goal. She's happy to just hold it here and not give up possession. Passes it behind the goals. Clark, 20 seconds. Moore. McHenry. The last roll of the dice for Orange here with 10 seconds on the clock. Trying to get a pass. This is Shepard. Hudson with a great tackle to knock it away. Four seconds. Barrett takes the ball in the blue. She must shoot. Just to Shepard, but again, they run out of time. Just like the first half, a great forward foray by the Oranges. But the buzzer beats them. Another very high caliber match. But the Blues will walk away. 1-0 victory over their Orange comrades.
So this is our third match of the morning session. This is New South Wales Sliders versus the SA Sharks. Both teams occupying those top two spots in the elite table at the moment. You can see there, two wins each. Uh, two points for a win, so two games for each of these teams left today. But regrettably for the Phoenix, you think they're here just to, uh, to put some pride on the board and maybe put a little bit of pain into both these teams later today. But this will be a nice warm-up for the final tomorrow afternoon. Does he feel crooked than you? What? Does he feel more crooked than you? Oh, way. Oh, yeah? That's bizarre. Oh, I haven't seen it all. Yeah. Yeah, he got, yeah, he had to leave him yesterday at the party. Oh, Here we go, for the reset, for a, a new match. South Australia versus New South Wales, the elite division. And Jody Harrison in the red helmet, out of the goals and into the forward line. Anka the Burn joining her, currently on the bench. They sub with each other, so you should only see one red helmet at a time on the field. South Australia. With the ball now, trying to cut their way through the middle. But some fast speed there from Lloyd. Trying to get the pass over. Uh, initially stopped by Holman and eventually swatted down. Giving up the ball but gaining territory. And... Now, Hukins has spotted something. He's, he's gesturing to the players. And I thought he was about to send someone off, but now we're just going to restart in the middle. We're going to go again. The stick height was okay there from all players. 42 for New South Wales. Taking the ball down into the corner. That's Tonkin. She's got Davis in support. She'll run it behind the goals. He's got ball there in the yellow helmet, as you can see in the forward. And of course, Phil Sell keeping for South Australia. Around the back. Into the corner, and South Australia come away with it. Trying to get up the line, it does get past, squeezes past. 
but New South Wales through number 74 Macklin managed to keep it into attack. A couple of quick subs coming through, trying to keep those legs fresh. Ideally subbing every minute. And out again. <laughs> Into the corner, Macklin. She's got Glazier in support, takes it off the wall to Glazier. Roffey running in the middle, Glazier getting it up the wall herself, trying to attract the extra player in order to create a free man. Not quite coming off that time, and South Australia will reconvene behind the goals and start again. From Farmer, back to the other side. Back to Farmer. Trying to move it on there. To Thomas. Tackled there by De Bruyne. New South Wales again. As Macklin comes off. A shot on, but well deflected. Heap of defensive bodies, and so easily just parried down. Holman. Back to Mortimer. Farmer. Back to Mortimer. Using the wall, going up to Holman. Glazier comes across to cut her off. And the two New South Wales players combine, and then go back to Lloyd. The big swing down into the forwards. Phil Sell thinks about coming out, doesn't yet. Now it's on the backboards. And the Sharks, with numbers, bring it out through Thomas again. To Bruna with the changeover. Just trying to get a move in. The shot on. Nothing happening. Another shot. Nothing happening. It was Baxter with the big swings there. New South Wales again taking it down into the corner. This time it's with Yabsley, the captain. Waiting for her players to get into position. Trying to go for the 1 2 uh, to Harrison and then up the middle. Lloyd there to clean up for them. A huge shot. Defended or parried down by the Sharks, but not sure where the ball went. Gone back to Lloyd for another big shot, but again defended. A fall. No injuries. Ref say it's okay, but the Sharks keep on swinging and keep on running and push the ball high into attack. Making Lloyd retreat all the way. That was Holman. Great work by Holman there. And now Finlayson, Lloyd, trying to get past Finlayson, and there's a player right there, and oh my goodness, how did Ermish keep that out with her knee, just kicking it around the left post. Thomas there, nearly sharking one. Finlayson, Lloyd, Thomas looking dangerous again. He tries to get it up, eventually gets it to Yabsley, with a cry of, sorry Laura. But the Sharks recovering defense through Irvine. Oh my goodness, we'll catch our breath. I think Thomas, I'd have to look at it again, but I think Thomas was hiding behind Irmish. And Lloyd, when looking for the cross pass, just didn't see her hiding there. I don't know if that was an intentional play, but it was almost genius. Irvine. Only gets it as far as Finlayson, who doles it into the corner. The offensive left corner. Anyway, Beck Davis will get the ball, and they will try again to break through this very firm Shark defense. Six minutes played in the first half. It's Glazier. Sorry, no, Davis. to Jody Harrison. Trying to create some run. A couple of one-twos. Get the defenders working, make them think they don't know what's going on. A 
And again, Davis. Across the other side, Jody Harrison. She's got Macklin if she wants her up the wards. And Glazier at the back. And instead goes onto the defense onto the rear boards again. Tries for the flick. Phil Sell pushes it back onto the boards, trying again. Coming round. This is Fonseca. Still not using Macklin. And the Shark players also not marking the outward players. Fonseca now coming off for a quick change. Tonkin coming on. Keeping those legs fresh. The Sharks happy to seem to be happy to let the uh, sliders take the ball on the wall knowing that they cannot penetrate their five point defense if they all stay in position it's basically saying to new south wales come and have a go if you think you're hard enough we don't think you'll break through a defensive kick and the sharks are away again Bit of a stick check, but that's okay. Nearly clearing it out, but the sliders keep it in the attacking half. Holman taking the ball down. Tonkin for New South Wales with her. Uses the back wall. It's Irvine. She's got to play her way out the far side. I think that's Farmer. Tries to run it up the wall. Brilliant pass up the wall. But Macklin has the leg speed. Can't get it past the lines as the gates open and players streamed on. Macklin just passed it straight into them, but now she's got Tonkin on the far right, running forward. Down to the goal line and now on the backboards. Running behind the goal. Philso clips it out, but then, oh, I think Harrison. Uh, no, sorry, De Bruyne. And I need to see the replay, but I think that went between Philso's legs. <laughs> Coming around the back there, Tonkin, off the deflect, then Harrison, sorry, then De Bruyne, seeing the red helmet and confusing me. Yeah. But there is no doubt that Anka De Bruyne, goal, and Christine Filso will live to rue that one. Yabsley now for New South Wales. One up, looking to make it two. Harrison went to Yabsley but cut off. Irvine running up the middle. Passes out wide. Off the boards. Bodies coming in. Finlayson gets it over the red. Tracking back now. Lloyd for New South Wales. Yabsley kicks it forward. Baxter. On the back wall. Irvine recovers. Trying to get it up, but can only get it as far as Harrison, who takes a nice big swing at it. But the defenders come in once again and close it down and pushing them back onto the wall. That was Yabsley there for New South Wales. ACT working at Crenn. Comes across Irvine. Farmer. Irvine. Farmer. Sorry, it was uh, Mortimer. But New South Wales gets it back once more. Davis on the back wall. Went for the swing, but Irvine knocked it away. And she'll do it again. Baxter. Trying to go for Davis. Irvine tapping it behind the goals. There's a couple of plays out there. Harrison intercepts it on the second touch. Pass around the body. 
Davis. New South Wales seem very keen to use their front line and not worry too much about their back line. Glazier here now with it. Macklin to assist her in the back line, but the forwards, Davis here, looking to just swing straight for the goals. Trying to put Phil Sunder in as much pressure as possible. Well, Baxter passed it up the middle. It nearly deflected in, but it bounced the other way. And Glazier now in chase, wins it to the ball. Passing back to Macklin. The, the offensive pressure comes on now. And now 74 has it for South Australia. She's gotten past. Macklin with the touch, just pushing up behind the goals. Thomas. The big swing, but Macklin is there to stop it out. And Riley to assist for the Sharks, but Harrison will take it away, will run into pressure. And Davis and Macklin will combine along with Harrison, getting it across the red. She's just flicked it over and will take the icing call and the reset on the left forward circle for the Sharks. 2.51 to play in the half. Lloyd, a very strong defender, passes it off the wall, nearly hit Matt Hudson on the sidelines, who turns around and goes, what was that Lloyd, why did you do that to me? It comes back to Lloyd, she's got Ball on the right and Finlayson on the left. And two Sharks trying to cut her down. She tries to run up the middle, very dangerous, eventually gets it back, goes to Finlayson who just doinks it across the line, says we need to get this ball out of here before something happens. Back down again, ball. Keeping it moving. And South Australia taking it behind their own goals in order to reset, restart, and come up once again. Mortimer just passing around the back, trying to get some movement going. This is Thomas to Mortimer. Sorry, it's Irvine back there. Back and forth, Irvine again. Out on the side. Players converge. New South Wales put it back into the middle. Phil Sell knocks it off her knee, gets it behind the goals. Where Ball will take it. Hey, Mon. Goes for the swing, but blocked. Macklin now back to Ball. And the boards, and Tonkin down there with one assist already today, looking for a second. Flicks it in, and oh, it crosses the goal mouth! Phil Sell very lucky to get away with that one. And South Australia just thinking, what can we do to survive the next 77 seconds? Trying to get it past, Tonkin steals it back with the aid of Glazier, goes into the middle. De Brune there, looking for a second goal. Now it's with Yabsley. Into the middle, deflected out, reaching with the stick. Referee said that was okay. Yabsley flicks it up, uh, punted down by Phil Sell, behind the goals now. And then up the sidelines. This is Thomas for South Australia. Macklin, the 274s. On the back wall again, Yabsley. Running away from Holman. Holman lets her run away, says, as long as you don't get it past me, you can't score. So she gets it past her and goes across the face again. I think Phil so got a touch on it to punt to parry it out. Now Macklin going again. 
and South Australia will eventually clear it. There's 13 seconds on the clock. Technically enough time for Holman here to make a shot at goal. Glazier comes across to cut her off, gets it past Glazier, but only as far as Davis. Back to Glazier. Farmer comes across, and that will be the first half with New South Wales up 1-0. Thanks to a very nice goal by De Bruyne, supported by Tonkin. Back with the second half. The elite match, women's, South Australia v New South Wales. This is Irvine. New South Wales up 1-0. And South Australia looking to claw one back. And give New South Wales something to think about before tomorrow afternoon. A scramble. Coming out now, Fonseca with the pass to Davis. Davis over to Harrison. Harrison sprinting down the boards, trying to be corralled, but too fast. And gets it into the middle. Irvine cuts it off. And then passes around the backboards to 23. 23 can only get as far as Lloyd. Lloyd takes a big swing between Phil Sell and Irvine, they have it covered, and Irvine kicks it away, back to the blue line on the right. Fonseca tries to get it down to Davis, but only as far as Holman. Now she gets it to Davis. And Davis has got to deal with Holman and Irvine. Irvine, um, sorry, round two, Fonseca bounces off Phil Cell, passing up the middle again, something they're trying a lot today. Lloyd goes for the big swing, but only gets it into the left corner. Davis. Tackled by Irvine. Still with Davis, takes it up the middle. Phil Sell puts it back there. Irvine puts it up the middle. Holman now gets it through the blue. But Finlayson is there to cover, takes it back to Davis. Finlayson still on the blue line, setting up once again. Lloyd, big swing, knocked down by number 28, Walker. And back to Finlayson. Tonkin. Back to Finlayson. Finlayson on the on the boards outside the circle. On the right side. Down to Tonkin. On the back boards. Linda, come out. Thinking about just being corralled by Irvine. Back to Finlayson. Again, we see South Australia. Happy to let this ball be passed around as long as they don't break the defense. Pumped away. Walker now. Trying to chase it down. Great tackle, gets it across the red. And Macklin is going to have to really scramble here. South Australia pushing forward, trying to get it down and eventually clearing into the offensive blue. But the Oranges can clean it up, the sliders, for New South Wales. And it will come all the way back. Irvine. Flick up. But only as far as Glazier. Glazier. 
who's got a high shot, cannot get it away. Irvine with the foot. Tonkin stick checks, but it will still come away. Holman needs to put the legs in to run it. Macklin to cut it off. And pops it back over the red for a reset once again. Back to Irvine. To Mortimer. Flicking the pass up. A nice pass down to number 23. And back again. Irvine being harangued by Baxter. Gets it off to Holman. And down into the back corner where Lloyd will collect. Four minutes played in the second half. Glazier tries the flick, can't get it past, but a hand pass called. As I think it was Mortimer touched the ball and then Holman was the next one to touch it after Mortimer handed it. And remembering, for those of you not familiar, if you are outside your defensive third, if you touch, the, you are allowed to touch the ball with your hands, but you must be the next person to use your stick on the ball. Lloyd, Fonseca. Bringing it down and around the back with Davis, swapping places, Fonseca going into the goal mouth with De Bruyne, now coming out again, Fonseca. Davis, harangued by Mortimer, but takes it around the far side, looking for the pass, only hits it into the, into the rear of the goal setting. Mortimer will take it away. Out to Thomas, comes back in. Davis and Irvine, Davis wins it, puts it into the corner with De Bruyne. De Bruyne with a green stick. Passing it back. Finlayson, De Bruyne. Going round the back, Fonseca. Being watched carefully by Mortimer, swings across the line. And De Bruyne couldn't get the stick on it to affect it. Back in again. Lloyd, big swing over into the far left corner. Irvine to collect. De Bruyne giving her chase and Finlayson there as well. Mortimer was behind, but she elected to flick over the top to Thomas, but it will be chased down by Roffey, who will pass to Finlayson. Harrison comes onto the ice. And 66 for South Australia. Riley will reset and just pop the ball forward. Lloyd will collect it. Thomas is giving chase. But no trouble for Lloyd. Up to Glazier. Harrison in the middle. Got some runners in support. She just needs to get it past Mortimer. Mortimer giving a real contest. Pushes her into the left corner. Nice corralling work. Harrison flicked it over the top into the middle, but it was a bit too high. Macklin. Now Tonkin in the right corner. Put a hand out, couldn't stop it. Roffey has the ball. Back to Tonkin. Back to Roffey. Harrison. Back to Roffey. Back to Harrison. Just passing it around, trying to find something. Roffey's got the corner there. Mortimer tackling her. And then back out to Macklin. Roffey. Haven't got a lot of space. It's like working in a phone booth. Tonkin. Up the top, Glazier. The defense is scrambling now. A foot flicked up and over. Roffey. Told to run it in, but it's all South Australia there. Thomas will take the ball. Trying to get it up. Number 23 now for South Australia, working to attack it. 
but up to the challenge and resetting once again New South Wales Glazier on the left blue down to Bohr in the left corner Phil Sell watching intently Yabsley trying to shark a deflection in shot comes up Yabsley got it on the ball a, a fall waved off by the referee that was Farmer the ball is now with Roffey. They've got a bit of clearance in front. Baxter, but Mortimer charged at her. Tackled the ball fairly. And keeping the pressure on both teams here. A very, very high intensity game. Baxter. Gets it past Farmer, but not Mortimer. Still playing without gloves because she's a badass. Macklin. Baxter. Ball. Jab, uh, Yabsley. Baxter. Just creating a little circle work movement here. Deflection, but it doesn't come off. Thomas now has the ball. Uses the left wall. Finlayson runs after it. Thomas runs after her. Finlayson gets to it first. Passes it back to Macklin. And the reset is on, and the gates open, and the changes take place. Irvine flicks it across the field to 23, into the middle. Fonseca and Macklin combine to get it out to De Bruyne on the right wing. Flicks back, but a little error here, and so now De Bruyne is trying to take advantage. Trying to get it down. She's got Davis in the middle if she can get to her, but there's three sharks that have just converged on the crease in order to keep it out. And so New South Wales will set up once again. Davis to Bruna. Irvine in tackle mode. Round the back to Davis. Davis trying to keep it away from Walker. Gets it on the top. Lloyd, big shot, deflected by De Bruyne, but goes left, just. And now Thomas for South Australia, trying to recover some possession, recover some territory. Irvine, she's got Riley running up the middle, if she can flick it to her. But she's got Thomas on the left as well, uses Thomas. Back to Irvine. She's got the call from Mortimer on her right, but she will go back to Thomas on her left. Couple of movements going on. Trying to work the New South Wales floor check out. Irvine. Mortimer. Sorry, Barrett. Number 23, Barrett. A late addition. Barrett. Running up the middle. But does not work. Lloyd with a big hit and it just goes right back into that left corner. Four minutes to play. Into the middle. Number 28 now, Walker. Flicks it over the side to Barris. Lloyd tackles her, takes the ball away. He runs it down into the forge. He's got to get past Irvine. No mean feet. Flicks it down the backboards. Harrison. Tonkin. And Roffey call for it behind the goals. Gone to Roffey. Nearly flicks it in, but great movement by Walker to cover it. Phil Sell was right behind her. And Tonkin going to try the other side. Phil Sell got her stick on it just to break it up. Irvine now taking it out to Barrett. Up the middle, Thomas could nearly get it. She gets it past Glazier, but Glazier manages to get it to the boards with the long reach and runs it back all the way into the defense. She's got number 13, Roffey, and they will go up the left side now. A one, two, back to Roffey. Trying to get it back again, didn't come off, Walker. Across the far side. 2.30 remain. Glazier. 
What should South Australia do here? It'll be interesting to see if they pull Felsell trying to get the goal. Harrison, but called offside by the referee and we will reset. Advantage South Australia. From the start. Now at the back, Barrett. Passing it round. To 66, Riley. Bohr now for New South Wales, trying to get it out. Barrett says, no, we're going to keep it in the offensive red. And so they do for the moment. Macklin trying to touch it through. Baxter uses the wall and it does cross the red. Mortimer retreating with the ball now. And New South Wales happy to let that happen. Farmer. Mortimer. Flicks it up. Barrett giving chase, but Finlayson there to cut it off, passing it to Macklin on the right boards. Using the boards again to get it around Mortimer, and now the run is on. 66, the first there for South Australia. Riley using the boards, and now Mortimer joins in the cause. Defense working well here. Back to Riley. She's got Coleman on the other side. Trying to get it past and eventually does get it around back, get it around Yabsley. Bohr, New South Wales looking for one last shot here. 50 seconds to go. And back two in the corner. Goes for the flick. Philsell touches the ball just to cut it off a little bit. Mortimer, Barrett. Up the middle, Farmer. Here is a sh one chance if she can get it past Finlayson. She can, but Macklin is going to chase her down and touch it into the boards just to neutralize it. Finlayson behind the goals, 20 seconds to go. Happy to just hold on to it. Last 10, Macklin still there, Yabsley. And New South Wales will hold on here. I don't think the Sharks are going to get the ball back. Yabsley flicks it forward, but that will be time. And handshakes and hugs all around. And if that was a preview for what we're going to see tomorrow, we are in for a treat. New South Wales winning 1-0, courtesy of a goal to De Bruyne in the first half.
Two games to go in this morning session, the hangover session. And we see how the elite men cope after a night on the beers. Uh, first up, we have the Sliders Blue versus the Sliders Orange. A grudge match, as always. And then immediately following, we have the ACT Flames versus the SA Sharks. You can see the table there. Two games to play for each team and two points for a win. So the Flames are still a chance of making the final tomorrow if the Sliders can maintain, sorry, the Sliders Blue can maintain their win streak and go 5-0. So ACT definitely hoping for a Blue victory today in this morning session and then hoping they can take care of the Sharks immediately after it. Of course, if they do do that, it sets up a wonderful, intriguing clash at 5 o'clock this afternoon when Sliders Orange would take on ACT for potentially a spot in the final in a winner-takes-all thing. So let's see what these two teams can bring today, this morning, right now at 8.40 local time Penrith, New South Wales. So here we go. Men's Elite New South Wales, Blue v Orange, mate versus mate. And Shepard will flick the ball into attack for Blue. The Blue team undefeated so far in this tournament. Not even undefeated, not even a draw. Four games, four wins. Yabsley into the corner popped away now the run is on the ball is slowing up Redding really giving some chase against Harvey Harvey falls over so Redding's got the ball 
Ferrara now. Round the back, trying to get it to Reading. Eventually gets there. Ermish is there to cover it. And goals come off. And Wheeler was also there to protect. As soon as the goals come off, of course, time is stopped and the referees decide who was the infracting player or team. And in this case, they've decided it was the goalkeeper, Ermish, who, in the process of making the save, a legitimate save, uh, just knocked it off. So we will start again from the right circle for the orange offensive. Hell yeah. Out to number 37. Big swing. Comes around the back. Jeff Ferrara, the shiny helmet Ferrara. Into the middle. Collier to Hooper, the dull silver. And down the back. Fullerton for Orange. Being chased by Collier. And Collier making him work for it. Collier winning the ball. Trying to get up to Wheeler. Pushed from the back. Hooper goes down as well. I'm sure a lot of people in South Australia would have enjoyed that one. And it comes all the way to the top. We love Hooper. We do love Hooper. It's just a, he's just a big target. He's been playing the game for a long time. He's very, very good. Into the middle now. Trying to reset the blue team. Burton pops it into the middle. Out to 83. He's got runners on the left. Big shot coming in. Burton tried to deflect it in. Chen in the uh, sticks as the ball goes onto the back post. Burton now. Tackled. Loses the ball. Another check. Certainly a bit more physicality to this game than it was yesterday. Burton. To Wong. To Harvey. Reconfiguring, rethinking. Shepard trying to get the ball, a mad scramble. Chen keeps it away, nearly sliding in was Wong. Just couldn't get the touch on. The flick is on, on the boards. Fullerton trying to get it further up, but only as far as Shepard. Over to Hansen. Hansen trying to get it back to Harvey. Shepard there as well, but the ball will clear into the defensive for them. Shepard trying to get it back over the red. Number 25 uh, for Orange loses his stick, picks it up. That's Van Esch. And they will move once again, trying to get it on. Ferrara, Van Esch, trying to get it past Harvey. Nothing doing. Harvey flicks it back over the top, only as far as a Ferrara. <laughs> Hansen to 86. That's Collier. Flick passes on, gets it over the back. Shepard there in defense. Ferrara keeping him honest, but the pass comes over the far side to Yabsley. Yabsley running it down the side. We move into the far corner where Hansen is chasing it. And it comes around the back. And the orange team going for a big swing to get it upfield. Uh, so big that it was over the net and out of play. Come the reset, Diamond takes the ball. Couple of them there. Hooper scored two goals yesterday in this match. Diamond. Collier. Trying to get it in the middle. Hooper and Wheeler there trying to help out the blue team. The Oranges keeping it out. Now Wheeler. Back to Hooper. Flicks it into the middle. The defense through number 37, flick it out. Now to Redding, into the middle of the rink, but Diamond is there. 
A scramble, a push, a couple of pushes, getting it past Ferrara, it's Redding, it's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, all he has to do is flick it in, Ermish gets it out, it's still there to play, it's locked up, absolutely mad dash, another flick, a third flick, and the defence screaming back, Collier gets it past Redding, Redding times it back, a huge swing from Diamond to get it out, and it will go all the way back, and the Oranges will reset once again. Absolute lick, frantic defense there from the Blues. <laughs> Shepard now to Wong in the right corner. Back to Shepard. He's got Burton if he wants him. Clears it across the other side, trying to get it to number 83, Sultana. Instead, it will go all way down to the goals. Then you've got Mark Ferrara trying to clear it back. A bit of a push from Wong. Referee says that's okay. It wasn't into the boards. So Mark Ferrara comes back the other way. Coming up to his number 37, Ackling. Ackling comes up to Jared Ferrara. Who flicks it forward. And it will come all the way down. The ref's not calling the icing. Harvey. Deciding that the ball was in contest, so it's a fair call. Burton up on the flick. Harvey now. Another flick, this one going straight into the bench. And it will be a restart on the left front corner for the Orange. Orange bringing a lot of heat as well. Obviously looking to end Blue's win streak and assert their own place in the final. <whistles> From the restart, Ferrara trying to flick it up. Diamond takes it with a long straight pass. It can't be iced because it is on track for goals. So number two, Chapman, the captain, takes it behind and says, let's start again. Out the side, and then back again. New South Wales for three weeks in training before uh, the Nationals spent every time. Uh, oh my goodness. Now, I didn't think it was a goal. And the referee Finlayson is saying, yes, Yabsley, you kicked it in. And so I'm not scoring it. It's a no score. And it will be a restart in center ice, I think. Up, the referee's having a little discussion here. And we await the outcome. Ryan was very, very quick to say no, that was a knee and kicked in. Very quick, there was no doubt in his mind. And now he's got it, and he was the goal side referee as well. And now he's trying to convince the other referee that that's exactly what happened. Of course, Peter Yabsley would contest that. He would con Ryan Finlayson, very animated, animated. Someone needs to get Brian more coffee. <laughs> and so now the referees are going over to talk to the scorer and to get, oh sorry, to get confirmation from, uh, I think it's Hukins there on the sidelines. If you look at a replay there, the look from the bench was very uh, subdued when the ball went in. So we see it again on the replays. It really came from nothing. And he had the swing, but it went in. And not even uh, Yabsley went up for the cheer. It was very, very much... Yeah. 
So a very long chat now. I've got uh, Brenton Moore with me here, who's just trying to walk away. But Brent, what do you think the outcome of this is going to be? I reckon it won't be called a goal. You have any further insight on that, or you just like you just think, nah? Uh, I really don't. <laughs> Hang on, we have a result. A cheer goes up from the Blues. And we will stand by for confirmation from the scorer. Ad adamant adamant is, uh, is a short word. Ryan was certain. He was absolutely certain. They've done something. And we restart center ice. Yep. Oh, here we go. Redding on the rebound, and they're going to go back for it. We're still waiting on confirmation from the scorer's box, if we can get confirmation. And in the meantime, the Orange team is like, this was a bad word, and we are going to fight back. Ferrara pushing against Collier. That's Dominic Collier in number 92. He manages to get the ball out. Fullerton kicks it away. Redding swings up. Ferrara chasing. Can't get there. Wheeler takes it back. And number 91 now. Liam Golding around the rear of the goals. He's got Ackling out the other side. Swings over the top. Redding goes and powers up. Huge strike, but way high. And Wong will take it back the other side. Shepard in the middle, checked by Redding. Back to Wong. Players going down everywhere. Sticks flying. Back to Harvey. Burton on the outside. Fullerton will clean up for Orange, but Burton is going to give chase and make him work for it. Gets it around Burton Fullerton, but Burton still working, still working. And Fullerton has his supporters. And that's Ackling down there, and he will clean up on the far side with a flip pass over the middle. Number 83, Sultana. Into the middle, Diamond. Down the left wing, trying to cut back into the center for Ferrara, just passes it back out. And the Blues just trying to get some composure. Hansen, another huge swing. Bounces off the back wall. Wong into the middle. Deflected down by Ackling onto the back wall. Fullerton to Jared Ferrara. Cutting left and right. Getting through two Blues, but not the third. Diamond managing to beat him. He's only human after all, Jared. And then a shot in, bounces off the post. I'm not sure who that was off, if it was Ackling or the blue player. But the goals have come off center, and so we will stop for a reset. take the ball with him. That was Van Esch. So Harvey on the back. Shepard. Collier. And offside call. And restart once again. Shepard parks in it back into the middle. Collier. 
Running for Burton. Burton wins the ball. He's got it right down. Has the shot on and they get it over. Chen's head. No doubt about that one. That is most definitely a goal into the back left corner of the net. You must always watch Burton on the fast break. Brilliant solo play. We also have confirmation. Uh, it, the score is 2-0 to uh, New South Wales Blue. Uh, that first goal does count, but not to Peter Yabsley. It is a goal. Uh, it came off high from Yabsley's body, and he didn't forcibly flecked it in. And so it counts as a goal for another player that we are still working out for the scorer. But it is definitely 2-0 to New South Wales Blue with 4.35 to play in the first half. Pushed down into the corner. Jeff Ferrara giving chase. Helia. Back to Fullerton. He has a nice swing, but he can't get a shot away. Helia again. Back to Fullerton. Back to Reading. Looking to swing for the trees. Goes into the corner. Couple of stick check. And Diamond will take it away. Golding will try and check him, but Diamond is too strong and pushes it back into the other side. Hansen. Hansen gets the ball round Redding and he's checked himself. Cleared by Sultana. Acklin will clean it up on the other side for Orange and push it across the red. Diamond collects. Everyone catches a breath and we start once more. Hansen. Shepard. Diamond, Hooper. Must be happy with the performance of all New South Wales teams so far in this tournament. Shepard. Yabsley can't get it past Fullerton and Fullerton pushes it back across down. The Shepard will start it again. Three minutes and 10 to go in the half. Flick pass up, gets it to Yabsley who gloves it down, but he's got two oranges to beat. One of them's Redding who gets it past him, past Shepard. Shepard then checks Redding, leaving Harvey to collect the ball. Harvey to Shepard. Can't get it past Ackling though. Sorry, Chapman, but he does get it back Shepard. An interesting stick from Ackling, but it's okay. Yabsley in the front corner. Swings for the middle. Shepard nearly deflected it in. Hooper. Goes for the other side. Another deflection from Yabsley. And this one through once more. A late flurry here. Lovely work. And we move to 3-0. Yabsley not getting that first goal, but he is now definitively on the scorer's board with that one. And the Oranges trying desperately to get something up. Ferrara against Wheeler. This is Jared Ferrara. Wheeler fighting him on the boards, but Jared Ferrara too good, gets it to his brother. Diamond there as well. Van Esch pushing with Diamond. Jeff Ferrara now. All the Ferraras on the ice. That's what you want to see. Burton. Going up the line. Chapman coming back. Burton giving chase. Oh, he's got Mark Ferrara on the far side. But he's got to deal with Wheeler still. Chasing him all over the rink. Up the wall. Diamond. And Van Esch comes back down to Mark Ferrara. A long pass out the side. Burton will collect it. Jared pushing him around. 
and eventually recovering the ball after a, a straight pass from Collier. Back again, deflected off Wheeler. Now it comes back to Jeff Ferrara. A big swing from Jeff. He has a huge swing. Chen trying to catch the ball, couldn't catch it. Jeff, uh, sorry, Wheeler down there. Chapman eventually with the clearance, but not across the half. So Collier will just bring it all the way back. Wheeler trying to deflect it in. Nothing happening there. Burton takes it in the corner. Back to Jeff Ferrara, and who's coming off for a spell. Wong. Across to Shepard. Intercepted. Orange once again, looking for something with the last 30 seconds, trying to break through, nearly does, but with a last glove hand, Diamond takes it. They're in defense, there's some push going on. Wong checks that we're all on side and then says, let's go for one more, guys. Trying to get it back to Wong, Fullerton tackling him, corralling him, once, oh, nearly across to Hansen, but it goes across the far side. Jared Ferrara, 11 seconds to go. Trying to get it past Harvey. Hansen there as well. And then I think that is all she will write for the first half. Thrilling stuff. Orange really taking it to the blue team. And still the Blues found a way to get three goals in in that first half. Welcome back to the second half. The Oranges are taking some long words of encouragement from their coach. But eventually getting out there, that was Sam Boa giving them some instruct how to get past Ermish, how to get past this defense and how to get some goals on the board. Flicked up, over, definitely a hand pass. If anyone apart from number 74, Macklin, touch it now. So Jeff Ferrara free to collect his ball and try and run it up. Trying to pass to Hooper, but can't get there. Redding. Tries to get back into the middle. Hooper. And the Blues are away again into attack. Fast running down. This is Hellyer. He's got some support on the other side, but it's been tracked by Yabsley. Macklin. Checking out the forecheck now. Back to Macklin. Yabsley with him. Yabsley will take the ball. Macklin gave it up. Cuts it into the middle. Crazy stuff. Great save by Chen using his left foot to kick it out. Comes straight back in with vengeance. Yabsley once more. And again, still cleared out. Hooper looking for his goal. He hasn't got it. Yabsley once more. Still missing. Hooper, now he gets it in. Puts his arms up and says, okay, I'm happy now. 
with a lovely shot. Yabsley hitting it around the back, dragging Chen around. And then Hooper says, thanks. That's great. Getting ready for tomorrow. Bomb again, the middle, 4 nil to the Blues. Coming down again, Wong, Burton, looking for his second. Flicks in, Collier, saved by Chen, padded off to the right. Burton coming back to Shepard on the blue. Shepard sizes it up and then goes around the back to Wong. Esh with the check, sorry, Ackley, uh, Golden with the check. Now Chapman takes it away. Up to Esh, trying to get it past Harvey. Can't get it, back to Chapman in the corner. Wong's with him. Chapman waited for the contact and then went past him. Worked once, didn't work the second time. And it's back to Collier. This is Dom Collier. Who just runs the ball with his hand along the boards. An interesting move at any rate, but now to Wong. Chen covers and then Chen swallows. And we will reset from the freeze. From the go, another swing, back behind the goal. Siege is on, Macklin tries to flick it out, nearly went bad, Sultana intercepted, but it came back eventually to Hellier. Down the back, Ackling. The call came from Jared, so he went to him. Jared's got a deal with Hanson or Harvey, not sure. It's Hanson. Jared Ferrara. Now Hanson. Tries to spoke it in. There's a couple of taps. Kevin Chen in the goals. Eventually dives on it, makes another save. And another reset. And again, the Blues looking for another one. Jared pops it into the corner. Yabsley pops him in the corner and then flicks it in. A mass of bodies once again. Hooper taking it out. He's got Shepard on the top, but he tries to go closer. He's got a Collier. Back to Jared Ferrara. This is 86, Damio, Damian Collier. But it comes to Macklin now behind the goals. It's a high forward pressure. Really working that forecheck and wing lock. A big swing out. Redding has the legs. Redding will get there. And he's now going to get corralled by Harvey and pushed into the wall. Harvey takes it ball back. And he says, you're too young for this league, Redding. I would say Redding's holding his own. But some of the seasoned hands from the Blues know all the tricks of the trade and they will pull them out. Vanish. Round the wall. Shepard tries for the check, doesn't get it. Vanish still running. Now with Harvey down in the defense. Wong bringing it back to the Blues. Cutting across to Burton. He has to wait for the ball before he crosses. Now he's in. Run down. Chapman with him, making sure he doesn't do anything too crazy. Burton coming back. Passes it to Wong. Wong and Mark Ferrara. Mark gets a touch on the ball. Jeff Ferrara comes in. Big swing. Stick up. Flat stick. Fullerton says, I'm off again. Redding trying to run the ball, but he's kicked it from the defensive red. And will be called for icing. He's not happy with that call. But the ref's decision is final.
So a disagreement from the refs on if it was ice in or not. So a restart from center ice. High flick. Fullerton trying to keep it off Wheeler. Gets it past one. Nearly getting past the second. Back to Fullerton. Working his way again. Sultana into the corner. Wheeler chasing hard. Fullerton with him. Fullerton back to Wong. To Fullerton. Sorry, to Wheeler. To Wong. Sorry, it's Sultana there. Back into the middle. Shepard. Big swing on. Looking for a deflect. Doesn't happen. Mike trying to get the clearance in. Eventually working it past Shepard. Eventually getting it over the red. And giving the Oranges a chance to breathe once more. 4-0 with 9 minutes and 10 seconds to play in this one. Golding. Back to Chapman. Swings high across the field. Checked out. Tripped. And uh, the call is made for a slash. A slash for Yabsley, and he will spend two minutes sitting down to cool off. So a big chance here for Orange to get one back. Five on four. Shot on. Saved by Ermish. Redding tried to tap it in. Another shot. Hooper comes in to deflect it out. Jeff Ferrara clears as well. Uh, says Mark Ferrara. He's got his brother Jared. Jeff is defending. Back across the ice. They've got to keep it in the red. And they do, so they'll come back, reset by the Blues in their four-man defense. They swing in around the back. Jeff Ferrara chasing his brother to it, beats him to it, but can't get it past his other brother. And when the twin's going up on you, there's not much you can do. Mark. Cross to Ackling. Back and forth, now to Mark. Back to Ackling. Ackling swings, high. Irvish had it covered. Another shot, and again high. And over to Macklin. Macklin, Ackling, Mark Ferrara, Ackling. Another swing. This one cut down on the front and cleared. Not sure if that was by Hooper or by Ferrara, but cleared nonetheless. Mark Ferrara has to go get it and they'll reset on the side now. Zach Redding comes in, wants to have his shot. 40 seconds left in the penalty. Chapman, Redding, Chapman, Ferrara, Chapman, Redding, 25 seconds. Shot on, just crosses the other side. Macklin still, I think. Ferrara, Redding, sorry, Chapman, shot on, nothing happening. Re Shepard there to clear it from the back and just kill off a couple of seconds here. Five left in the penalty. Hooper flicks it up the middle and it's punted out. Now that was a great setup. Yabsley is there. Has a shot on, hits the post and bounces out. And Yabsley kicks it away in disgust around the far side <laughs> before running off for an interchange. Chapman. Running up the middle, Redding. Going to try and run past Diamond. Not an easy challenge, checked once. Diamond gets the ball. Wong was doing the check in there. Van Esch comes in to help Redding. Redding checks Wong back. Van Esch can't get the shot in. And now the Collier will uh, take it back. Passes out the right to Wong. Fullerton running with him, trying to keep him from running into the wing. Collier. 
Ackley marking him. Swings it across to Diamond. Kicked out by Van Esch. Mike keeping the defence going. Van Esch now. Out the side. It's Mike again. Getting up the wall. Players going everywhere. It's a two on one. Number 14 for New South Wales Orange. Great play. That was Hellier. Getting it up to the top and forcing the Blues to reset. Fullerton now. Taps it back. Players are all still on side, so that's okay. Mike scrambling but can't get it. Now Golding. Golding has a nice shot on him. Swings. Just misses. Ermish, I think, had it covered. Jeff Ferrara goes down, but not before affecting a pass to Wong in the middle. A great dive there across the middle to keep it in the forward reds by Golding. New South Wales Orange still trying their hardest. Five minutes to play. Mark for sorry, Jeff, uh, Jared Ferrara. <laughs> across to Helia. Cut off. Up the middle. The run is on. There's a couple of runners coming through. Fullerton goes with him, trying to tap him out. Can't really get there. Another one through. That was Golden with great defensive work. Wheeler. Down to Sultana. Bounces off the wall. Wheeler running in, trying to get the shot. Chen affected it as it came across, which broke it up. Wheeler on the other pocket. Trying to get it through. Hits the post. Hits the back netting. Now around the back. Flicked again. Double flick. Golding trying to clear it out. Goes off the back wall. Jared Ferrara. Cut across to the left side to Hellier. But Shepard was there. Shepard takes the ball. Swings for Wheeler. Wheeler's shot was on target. But Fullerton got in the way and pads it down to Hellier. To Mark Ferrara, sorry, to Jared Ferrara, Fullerton. Another cutoff. They are certainly making everyone out there, I would say, is earning their crust. High caliber game once again. Another shot in. Hooper pushes away. Now he's one on one with Chen. Chen knees it out. Great efforts. Would expect Hooper to gobble those most times, but you would also expect Chen to save them. And Chen came out on top. And on the rebound now, Golding has the toe speed. He's got to get past Shepard. Diamond's running back. Golding can't get it past Ermish. And Diamond will clean up. Takes it across the outside. That's Collier. It's Damian Collier who flicks it towards the middle. Burton got it into Chen. Chen flicks it away before Hooper could swoop on it. And the Blues now waiting to get onside. The flick comes through. Redding misses the ball. Wong's going to give chase. He's got Macklin in the middle if he wants him, but Burton's going to cut him off. And he's got Chapman on the far side. He goes for him. Jeff Ferrara with him as well. Trying to keep him from going forward. Doesn't quite work. But the Blues hold onto the ball in the forward. Burton, stick being tangled up with Macklin, but Burton has it. Down to Collier. This is Dom. Up to Jeff Ferrara. Across the top. Redding trying to defend it, but nothing doing. Out to Burton. Down to Wong. 1.47 to play. Dom Collier, into the middle, Chen blocks it out, Wong comes around the other side, Chen blocks that as well, great movement from the keeper, Van Esch, swings and tries to get up the wall, a couple of players run into the wall, the flick comes on, Burton and Wong are both there, Dom Collier, a big swing from one, Chen pops it over the back of the net, Wong is still there, nearly got it through, all the traffic, Jeff Ferrara takes a huge swing. He couldn't have missed the goal more if he tried. Collier now in the pocket. 
back into the middle and Chen will swallow it with 103 on the clock. A freeze and a reset. Another swing. Chen swallowed. Oh, I was going to say Chen swallowed up. Wheeler managed to knock it out. Sultana. Shepard. Diamond. We oh, off the post. Wheeler trying again. A mad scramble with Ackling. Another swing. And how it, oh, there it goes. Bounced off two posts before Hansen could tap it in. Chen exhausted from making three saves in quick succession and just through sheer weight of numbers of shots on goal the Blues get one more Restarted again. 30 seconds on the clock. A big hit. <laughs> and a reset for uh, moving the goals. But of course, the score's 5 0, so the clock will continue to run. We may get a drop here. The siren may beat us. And that's what she wrote. And New South Wales Blue once again victorious over the Orange 5-0, which is good news for the ACT. And good news for SA as well. So one more match in the morning session. As we look at some of the highlights from the New South Wales game, it is the ACT versus SA. With that loss to New South Wales Orange, ACT can still make the final. They need to beat South Australia. A draw will not suffice. They need two wins. They need to beat South Australia. And then in the afternoon game, they need to beat New South Wales Orange who will also obviously want to atone for that game. I don't think the scoreline reflected the effort and the, the justice of the game. I thought it was much closer than that. But there is no doubt that New South Wales Blue are the strong team. Five wins, five games, and they will be the favourite, whoever they face, tomorrow afternoon.
So here we go, the last game of the morning session, ACT men's versus South Australia men's elites. ACT needing a win to keep their campaign alive. And South Australia looking to spoil the party. Scramble in the middle. Over the top. Number 52 with the swing across the back. A flick up. For it. Across. Into the middle now. South Australia breaking it up and looking to counter punch. Boris on the defense, tries to kick it to himself, eventually gets it through. But Martin couldn't touch it, had to come back for the offside rule. High flick. Borat takes care of it. Gets around Matt Barrett, but then still coughs the ball up. Agabeek couldn't control it. And Finlayson and Hugens conversing about that one but there has been a whistle a couple of players having an animated discussion with the refs as well And there's been an interchange error for ACT. And so Travis Agabeek will take the two minute penalty for one extra on the ice. Uh, Finlayson, the referee, determining that the gate was open and six players were on the ice with one not exiting promptly enough. So for the next 144, South Australia has an advantage. What can they do? Can they press it home? Borat defends and then decides to go for a run, trying to score on the alternative. Defended out by Balestrin off a very strong hit. Back to Borat. He's going to try it again. Chip set up, and it just goes over the top. Another good defense. 
third time in. ACT looking to subvert the narrative and uh, swallow by Balestrin. And a start from uh, the short right side in offense for ACT, even though they are down a man for the next 118. From the push, South Australia looking to take advantage, but ACT obviously trying to stop them at all opportunity. Lucas lets the ball run into defense. Wisdom's there. Being tackled. Still controlling the ball. And South Australia, 52 seconds now with the extra man in a standard power play formation. Four out, one forward. Bounces around the back, hits the back of the post. Wisdom goes to get it. Shapley now. Flicks it up the wall. Shane Martin will collect for ACT. Pop it on the boards. Lucas with 20 seconds to run on the clock. Could still affect it. Wisdom ready to have a shot wide to the right. That's uh, Roberts, I think, back there. Back to Wisdom. Kicks it round the back. And they, if they can just hold onto the ball now, ACT, they will not be in too bad a shape. But South Australia looking for one last roll of the penalty. But it only comes back to Martin, who flicks it over. And here comes the other Agabeek. So it's five on five again. In South Australia. We're flicking it back, trying to get the defense to move across. Shapley. Running up the line. Back to Shapley. Trying to get around Wisdom, who's just happy to give him a little pressure, a little touch, does get it out. Attracted the second player. So a free shot on, but bounced off Roberts. Wedding comes to assist for South Australia and does get the ball back, so they will try once again. There is a lot of pushing and shoving going on between Lucas and Garrity at the top of the circle. And I don't think anyone is marking Barrett. Wisdom is giving him a lot of room. Barrett gets the ball, but just couldn't trap it enough. And Agabeek, Travis Agabeek, had enough to corral there. South Australia still hitting those boards, trying to attract attention. New South Wales did have a player sent for that yesterday, so they should be a bit careful. Pushes have gone down, now Wisdom grabbed him. Now there's a bit of push and shove, definitely going on. The referees will stop it. Lucas comes in to stop it. And the players are now remonstrating with each other. And as the refs come in, they all hug each other and say, no, we're friends, it's okay. We're just playing, guys, we're just playing. It's all good. Barrett being sent to the bin. I don't know how Wisdom avoided being sent to the bin as well, or Lucas for coming in uh, to fly the flag. But that's the referee decision. Barrett will spend two minutes sitting down thinking about what he's done. And South Australia will have a power play. ACT, looking to move it in. Cleared off, clearly carried by Wheel right there, forgetting that he is not keeping as he does for the South Australian Intermediates. And uh, Finlayson is not having any of it. He's sending him as well. The referee is trying to assert control over the game to make sure it doesn't uh, devolve. And South Australia, now this is disastrous for them. It's a double power play for the next one minute and 50 seconds. A huge amount of time to play with only three defenders and keep out 
a team full of such experienced and wise hands as these ACT players. Lucas, back to Boris, back to Lucas. A big swing comes in, knocked out, saved out. Martin goes up the wall, back to Lucas in the middle. Back to Martin. Lucas. Martin. Just trying to think their way through. Martin decides thinking's too hard, he'll just swing. And it nearly comes off for Boris on the opposite side. But it comes out again, another save. And Balestrin sits on the ball for a freeze. 54 seconds left in the double power play, 104 left in total for both power plays. Restarted again, Boris. Trying to get into the middle, slapped away. Lucas still in the blue. It's Martin, no sorry, it's Lucas out there. Sorry, it's um, 52 out there. Boris. Swings hard to the right and Balestrin with a great save on the second grab. Doing his team proud. Restart again. Out wide, 52. Winds up, massive swing and a massive miss. Roberts. Lucas. Boris. Big swing in, deflected the wrong way out. Comes back out to 52. 13 seconds left. They may hold on, South Australia. Roberts, 52, three seconds left, shoots, deflected out, here comes Barrett, it's 4 on 5 Barrett takes the ball, and he just waits a couple of seconds and they will get a fifth, and they're back to a full squad as soon as he comes on the ice, there we go, he's allowed on, Lucas has the ball for ACT, Roberts, and South Australia definitively get out of jail halfway through the first half. Just a moment of calm now after all that storm. Real right. Flicked up into the middle. Tried to tap it on, but couldn't get it past Borat. Borat will take it back up the middle. He's got Roberts to assist. A lovely bit of body work just to take it back for South Australia. Not a full check, just enough to say, I am here, don't do anything. And a huge strike. And Hay, who has technically got away with that one, I think, because he was walking out of his crease as the ball crossed the goal line. But the referee's call icing. And we will restart from the left corner. Right corner. Down the back. Barrett. Looking for an opportunity. Can't seem to get it across. Oh, he's coughed it up right in front of goal. Balestrin, though, equal to the task. Buckler, the ACT player, trying to flick it past him. Balestrin went down low, expecting it low, and gobbled it up. Well, once more, wisdom. Into the middle. ACT looking to get it through. Number 80 now. And 62. Running down the wall. What can he find? Can't find much Redding. Trying to get a pass wisdom. Godner's there to help. But now Mark Barrett has got the ball. 
Wisdom still persisting, still persisting. Can't get it off Barrett. Barrett clears off and clears way too far. Looking for his brother in arms, but couldn't make it. So Balestrin will clear it from the defense, going across to the far side to number nine. Matt Pryor. Redding fighting with Godmere. Comes back into the middle. 80 pops it out the other side. That's Matt Barrett. And again, South Australia get a fast break. Wisdom, though, goes on his knees. A big swing. Hey with the save on his knees. Another one. Coming in the middle. Still swinging. Bigs wind up. Pushed out of the way. And just not able to make it across in time. Was Boos. And hit up the other end. Now Agabeek's going to run This is Travis Agabeek. He's got 52 in support. Pops it across. But Balestrin reads it like a glove. Reads it like a book even. And gloves the ball for another freeze. Palestrin really holding it together in defense for the Sharks. Out again, Lucas. Big swing, but nothing coming of it. Borat now can't get the ball. Great tackle and intercept. Flick over the top. There's a fast break on. If he can control the ball, tries to get a shot. Lucas intercepts, so he has a different shot on the back end. Just around the other side. Shapley now picks it up on the wing. Trying to get around Borat. For the middle. Can't get it to Garrity, and Lucas will take the ball for ACT. Behind the goal, swing over the top. Too hard, too fast, but that's okay. It allows him a little breather as South Australia still intact. Shapley now. Boris, great tackle, takes the ball back. A one-two with Martin for Boris. Far down the wing. A... Now, the ball's definitely hit the roof. So it'll be a reset. It's just a query of if that was a high stick as well from the South Australian. He was playing at the ball, and he did play the ball. There's no doubt about that. But if his stick was high, they will send him for two. And it looks like they will just reset on the circle. Four twenty to play in the first half. Around the back for South Australia. Looking to regain some composure. They've had some fast breaks, but they've also had a lot of defense in this first half. Flicked up the side, trying to get it past Lucas, but you've got to wake up pretty early in the morning to get past him. And it's already after nine. Another shot on. Back to Buckler. Can't get it away. Past Lucas. There's another fast break on. But cleaned up by uh, Boris, who bats it back into the South Australian side. And they will wait in order to reconvene and not be offside. Just a little bit of pressure coming now from Agabeek and Buckler. And it's coughed up to Roberts in front of goal who swings. Somehow, Valestrin saves it. I don't know how. And again, ACT blasting. Roberts blasts again, way high. And Pryor now with the ball in his defensive corner. Flicks it across, a bold play. Borat takes it off, away, uh, wheel right, swings at it again, deflected out by the keeper, round the back of the goals, and they will set up once again. Now, on the left, swinging hard for it. Now, ACT is touched, so this is not icing. Wheel right comes charging down with Lucas, passes it back 
to Barrett. Matt Barrett, I think it is. Craig Barrett, sorry. Now, he's crossed the red backwards. And it will be an offside call against Pryor and South Australia. From the reset. Agabic gets it off to his brother. Swings across, nothing doing. Out in the corner, flips back up to Roberts. He's got Wisdom in the middle, but he goes back into the corner. Now across, Wisdom will run to collect. I think that's wedding against him. Wisdom swings down, bounces off the back wall. Pryor flicks it up and interference. It did touch the roofing. And we will restart again. One fifty six on the clock. Agabic tackled. Goes to retrieve the ball. Passes back to Wisdom. Looking for his options. Out to Godmare. Back to Wisdom. Flex it over to Agabic. A big wind up and shot, but deflected by the defense right in front of him. Wisdom kicks it forward again into the corner. There's a couple of South Australians, but he's left a man open at the top of the crease. But it will work out okay for South Australia. They will run it out once again. A big swing, touched. Getting it over the red, but Wisdom will collect. And work to retrieve. Now, they're going to try and catch them on the overlap here. Agabic can't do it. Pass straight back to South Australia. Hand pass down. Huge check from Wisdom. To 52 in the middle. Over to Martin. 47 seconds to go. Wisdom. Deflected off the defense from his shot. Onto the back boards. Back to Wisdom. The last 30 seconds to do something in the first half now. Kicks it up to Martin. Down to Wisdom. Looking to have the shot, but a great tackle by South Australia and pushed far across the other side. Godmere's going to run after it. 10 seconds to go. And uh, the ball is lost in the netting, so with seven seconds on the clock, we'll have a reset. And unless South Australia can do something very quickly to get it past Hay, then we will go into the half, nil all, in an intriguing contest. From the reset, South Australia take the ball, it's tapped away, let's away the shot. Defended by Roberts. Prior to collect, but that will be the half. We've got 15 minutes left in this game to see if ACT, who have had a lot of firepower and a lot of shots and uh, through sheer defensive efforts, not to mention some great saves by Balestrin, South Australia have stayed in the game and kept it dry.
from the restart. ACT now taking it forward. Around the back of the goals. Wheelwright. Taking it up the other end. But only as far. Now. Again, Finn Leeson calls the whistle. Again, he's not happy with something. And just an offensive restart for ACT. I suspect something Wheelwright did was wrong, but I can't, for the life of me, see what it was. But Finlay saw it. Finlayson saw it, and that's the important thing. <laughs> Lucas. Offside is what my assistants are telling me. We're running down. Agabek. Over to his brother. South Australia, counter-attacking now through Geraghty, and now with Pryor. Into the middle, defended out, Pryor again, swing, Hay defends it to the backboards. Up to Lucas. Lots of bodies in front of him. Goes high, tried for the kick, didn't come off. And now it's two on one. The pass is across. This should work. Ping, and it's on. Chris Silesia. In his first game before the tournament, now carrying on saying, look at me, I'm fantastic. And I scored a goal. One nil for the ACT. And they're on their way. Assists being given to Lucas and Roberts, but Salija doing uh, all the work with a fantastic shot. Really something delightful to see. And now it's up to South Australia if they can respond and spoil ACT's charge to the final. A double tackle here, Lucas and Wisdom combining. Out the back, that's Garrity. Wisdom inter interferes with it again. Out to Mark Crowther. Over to Garrity. Up on the wall. Trying to get through. Eventually gets through, but still Wisdom stops the shot from John Thomas. And South Australia protecting the forward line. Oh, shoots hard, had Hay beaten. But clangs off the right post and bounces away. A lovely check there, I think that was Godmere. No, sorry, it was Silesia. He has come in full of fire and checks Wheelwright for good measure before going off for having a drink. Wisdom. Over to Godmere, another check, a heavy check from Zizing on Wisdom. Both players up and fine. Godmare goes down, but the ACT still pushing it out. Outside the blue, but still in the offensive side for South Australia. Shot comes in for Pryor, but it's off target and trapped in the net. And we will restart once more. Once more, ACT behind the goals, out to Agabeek, up the line, cut off by South Australia, but only as far into the middle. 
before being brought way back in into defence by Pryor, who tracked it all the way back. Barrett now, across the other side to his comrade in arms. The ball lost, comes back to Pryor. And they work it back. So Matt Barrett now. Directed to go off the boards behind the goals by Pryor, who then takes it up to Craig Barrett. ACT looking to try something, an interesting bout of stick work, but a double check, just too many players to try and run through. And Matt Barrett again with the ball. To Pryor, Matt Barrett. They're working their way up to the defensive blue. Then flicked, knocked down by Agabeek. They'll run after it here. Trying to get the shot off, gets it away, but Barrett was well and truly in the way. Oh, Lucas nearly intercepted it, but couldn't get there. And now they're away, South Australia through Matt Barrett. Barrett's everywhere. Lucas intercepts it, runs after it, collects the ball. Barrett falls over, so Lucas runs back the other way with a free hand now. Looking to do the solo run, gets it halfway there before South Australia converge on him. Thomas, wedding. Now ACT again. This is Agabeek. Brody Agabeek through to the other side. A hard shot, so a stick goes flying. Wedding goes to collect his stick. And just in time, because he's going to need it again in defence. The flick comes in, knocked down by Thomas. Stick height was fair, says, um, uh, says referee Hookins. And now another setup. Thomas. Flicks it up for Mark Crowther, but intercepted. And knocked back onto uh, the defensive side. South Australia will have to come back and start again. 8.53 on the clock. Thomas flicks it up once more running down there is Boris passes around the back to Wisdom over the side to Salija he's got Roberts up on the line if he can get to him he can Roberts goes for a run now he's just got to get it past Thomas he does but the shot is wide Balestrian doesn't need to save Martin Shoots high, gloved off as well, and the ball is lost. So a restart to South Australia advantage. In the middle, Barrett bounces around the back of the posts to Wedding. Up into the middle, Wedding will take it back again. He's got Barrett to assist. The footwork to help. He's still got Wedding, Wedding's running for it, so he'll give it over. They can use the old one-two here if they can get it off. Garrity runs it into the offensive side, back to Wedding, but missed the pass. Buckler intercepts, and now ACT can burn them on the return. Martin with the shot, bounces off the back, and now stuck behind the goal. Wisdom is the first to collect, clears it out to Silesia. He goes up to Godmare, keeps the ball moving fast, passes Wisdom to Martin, swings over the back to Silesia again. With Buckler shielding as well. I'm not sure if that bounced off the head or glove of Balestrian, but either way, the right result for South Australia at any rate. Martin gets around one, gives it off, this is an easy shot, he shoots, he's missed it! How? Pryor recovering the ball. Salija to Wisdom, back to Salija, trying to atone for that miss. 
Godmare. Trying to get past Wheelwright. Wheelwright giving up the weight advantage, but still winning the ball. Salija chasing. He just needs to get it to Wisdom. And Wisdom will get it in. Two on the goalkeeper. And sorry, not Salija. It was Buckler in the assistance there. And by weight of numbers, ACT get their second with 6.38 to play. ACT looking to do it again, South Australia looking to uh, put some respect on the board, Thomas nearly had the pass off, nothing happening there, on the return, flicked it down, Roberts taken away from him by his teammate who runs after it, Thomas on the defence and Balestrin locks it up in the goal and another reset. Once more, passed around the back, Thomas chops it up the middle, he's got a runner, he's got two runners, Wedding now, he just needs to beat top of Roberts, but Roberts has him, and again the whistle, I think for a hand pass, yes. A hand pass from Matt Barrett. And so a reset for ACT advantage. Another shot in. It's up. And Balestrin will save it once more. Agabit could smell it. It's Brody Agabit charging at the goal, but Balestrin says, no, that's mine. And go back and do it again. On the way out. A bit of a miscommunication. And so uh, the South Australian player gets the ball and then just hops it out of bounds. Not intentional, of course, for a reset. Tapped out. Shapley flicks up. Zizing trying to run on it, but Wisdom has it. Wisdom. Salija still moving it through. But can't get it over now. South Australia looking to counter attack. Barrett. Into the corner. And out again. Barrett again. Another big hit. Defended away. And now the ACT looking to get one more on the board. But Balestrin has to cough it up, no pressure, but Shapley's there. It's all good, he's got Pryor, who's going for a run. That was an interesting stick, but Finlayson says, no, that's fine. Shapley went for the swing, but ACT come away with it once more. It's on the goal line, so he swings back into the middle. No one touched it, and it will come all the way back up to the middle. And Martin has another swing at it. Prior to Kate the ball. Roberts takes it off him. Roberts puts it towards the goal. And Shapley will clean it up behind the nets. And pass it over to Crowther. Mark Crowther. Pass it back to Shapley. Pushed over by... 
Boris. But South Australia will still come out with it via Wedding. He's trying to run against Martin. Martin. Martin puts it back into the middle for Wisdom to try and run away for some pressure and then go again. Wisdom. Up the middle. He's got a play out and this is dangerous. Very dangerous. Balestrin to make the save, but no, he's not needed due to some fantastic work from Wheelwright. Boris puts it away into the corner for Wisdom. And down on the back now. Tries to flick it in, but there's just too many South Australians to keep it out. Out to Godmare. Big swing, again kicked out, this time by Thomas. And again by Thomas. Ball's coming back up and Thomas will look to take it. Flicks it up the line, gets it past Godmare. ACT will take it back into defense and then pop it over the line. So Thomas will take the ball for South Australia. 2.40 to play in this one. Zizing. Into the middle and then on the far side. Crowther. Fighting against Godmere. Godmere gets it to Martin. Martin bounces it off the net, but only as far as Thomas. Into the middle, real right. Swings hard at it and takes it to the backboards, but otherwise inoffensive. Back to Thomas at the blue. Another big swing into the back of Martin. And again onto the backboards. And again it will come out. And Thomas will try it again. This time going for the flick. That was, oh, definitely a high stick. And the call is made against... Just waiting for confirmation here. So high stick against Mark Krauser. His game is over with 1.48 left in the clock for the power play. Four on five. South Australia looking to defend against a power play for ACT. Salija. Back again, shot arrived. Agabeek looking to dummy it. <laughs> Salija calls out, there were two of you there, how did no one touch that? So he tries it again, and this time he just misses the goal. And again, Borat goes for it. Agabeek touches it, but he touches it the wrong way, bounces it back to the South Australian. <laughs> and Borat just cannot believe it. <laughs> Pryor flicks it up, Lucas. Uh, was somehow not called for a high stick. Salija winds up, big swing. Doesn't, maybe doesn't realize the goals aren't that big. Pryor. Barrett trying to get it up the other end. Boris, we're looking to get the reverse. Roberts now wants to take it into the corner. Wait for his uh, reinforcements to arrive. And he just pops it over to the other corner. Lucas. Flicks it back. A one, two, Borat now. There are two of them there. They just need to get a stick on it. Agabit can't do it. Borat goes again. Bouncing off number 87, Tim Booth for South Australia. Agabeek over to Lucas. Salija calls for it, wants it, kicks it, winds up, hits it, but the defense is still going. And again from number nine, once more from Salija, but they just can't break through. A big hit, and that will kill the time. And ACT will have a sudden death match this afternoon against the New South Wales Orange team for a spot in the final.
So that concludes the hangover session. I hope it helped you recover from last night's drinking. It certainly helped me. We are back at 2.45 this afternoon local time for the final round of matches before the finals tomorrow. We've got eight matches that will determine the makeup of who makes it through to the four finals tomorrow and who can spend tomorrow on the drinks. I'll be back with you at 2.45.